Hey everybody, it's Rosemary Jane, and I'm going to show you how you can use course analytics and student completion rules to help you better keep track of how students are engaging in remote learning with Schoology. So for this, we're gonna open one of our courses and go down the left menu to the analytics tab. It's right below members. Click on that. And what you'll pull up is a list of your full class roster. This is just a sample course, so I only have one student in it. I can see the last time that student logged into Schoology and the last time that they interacted with my course materials. So I may have a, a discussion posted in my course or even just a link or um, another assignment. So I can see when they last interacted with that. I can also go into actions here at the top and click on historical data. That's going to give me a few different options. The one I want to show today is by user. I can see my students the last time that they logged in, their last course access, and how long they spent in my course. So I'm sure you can see how beneficial that would be. An example from another uh, class, students have been blocked out, but you can see that the student logged in last Friday and um, they were working in my course materials that day. Um, another one, they were logged last logged in and working in my course. But this one here hasn't logged in in a week and hasn't interacted with my course materials since March. So I know I need to reach out to that student or their parents and get them connected. So that's a look at how analytics can work for you. In this video, I'm also gonna drop a link to the Schoology Analytics Guide. Uh, it's very interactive and goes into a lot more detail than I'm gonna do in this tidbit video. But I'm gonna put that link in there for you. The other one that I wanna show you is student completion rules. So within another course, I wanna show you, well, actually first in this course, I'm gonna show you how you add student completion rules. So in my course, right next to materials is the options, student completion. Now, I'm just gonna add a requirement and I'm gonna say in this folder, the member must complete whatever's in this folder. Now, I can go into a little bit more depth. I've already added a student completion rule to this folder. You can see it says must complete. But now within the folder, I can go to options, student completion, and I can assign not just that they complete what's in the folder, but I have four activities in there. So I can assign each one, or excuse me, I can indicate a completion rule for each one. And then I can say what they can do with that item. For example, an assignment test or quiz. Do I just want them to view it, have looked at it, or post? something? Do I want them to make a submission? Or do I want them to even score at least? So I'll put 70 out of 100 there and so forth. For this, the um, completion rules match the topic. So here I'm going to say that they have to participate in it. And here it's just a link. They have to view it. Save changes. And now later I can see when my students have completed. So I'm going to also drop a link to this guide. that shows you how to do the steps I just did, but then shows you what it looks like. You can see a percentage of completion or a check that they're complete. Then you can actually click on the student name and it will drill into um, specifics. So I do have a snapshot on that. Um, I hope I'm not about to run out of time. Um, okay, here we go. Student completion um, individuals. If I click on one student's name in that drop down, I can see that student's name and those different assignments. I can see if they've completed it or if they're in progress with it. So use course analytics and student completion to be able to keep better track of when your students are getting into your courses and to see um, if their progress or percentage of completion on tasks. That's my tip for you today. Have a great day.